Hi lovelies, I'm Arielle and this is Maven Unmasked and welcome to your unboxing and first impressions of the Crystal Medicine Oracle by Rachel Sharman and Rockpool Publishing. Um, I do have Rachel Sharman's other deck, the Crystal Reading Cards, which I absolutely adore. I use them all the time in my readings, so I'm really excited to see what this one is all about. So let us go ahead and read the back of the box um, per our norm. So um, it is also illustrated by Len Hibble. Okay. So take a step into the sacred circle and immerse yourself into the shamanic realm of crystal medicine oracle cards. Connect with the 33 circular cards, each depicting an oracle message, natural medicine, ceremony, a crystal and channeled artwork to deeper in, to work deeper into your sacred soul journey. Master your personal power and the healer within. Okay. Um, I have never worked with circular cards before, so I'm intrigued to see how they feel, how they shuffle. Um, I don't think they'll read any different. I think it's more just um, about the feel of the cards. So let's go ahead and open these babies up. There we go. Here we go. Alrighty. So per the norm, again, comes in a nice sturdy box. Um, I love the boxes that Rockpool Publishing provides. I think they're great for travel um, and so your cards don't get damaged and the box doesn't get all messy. So let's open her up. It just opens up like this. Okay. And first thing we see is the guidebook. So ahead and take a look at that the guidebook is about a hundred and fifty three pages with um, then a page about the author Rachel Sharman and then a page about the illustrator okay so here we go um, there is a table of contents okay um, so we have the preface, how to use the cards, and then it goes straight into card meanings. They're in alphabetical order. And again, there is 33 cards. So these cards are a gift from my heart to yours. They have been birthed from a place of unconditional love and support. My prayer for you as you journey with this powerful medicine is that you receive an abundance of wisdom and guidance, that these cards assist you to unlock the divine wisdom within you and unleash the love that you are. It has been an absolute pleasure and honor to create this deck from my own life experiences and healing journey to be able to share the medicine I have connected with and to offer it for you to do the same. Okay. Very nice. Um, so then it goes into how to use the cards. So there are five aspects to each card. You have the oracle, which is the main essence of the card. You have the medicine, which is everything in nature has a medicine of energy to offer, um, a force that holds a medicine and is closely aligned with the energy of the oracle. You have the crystals, so crystals hold powerful energy and medicine. The ceremony, which is a practical process that you can do to integrate the medicine of the oracle. And then the artwork, which has been channeled and holds within its own powerful healing medicine and energy. Okay, um, there's a section about caring for your deck, how to facilitate a reading, connecting to your own intuition, reading for someone else, card layout, so typical one card, uh, three card, past, present, future. Um, and then for this deck in particular, there's a medicine retrieval layout, which is three cards, and a shamanic, shamanic medicine layout, which is six cards. And then there is also a shamanic journey through the year. Very good. And so then we just get into card meaning. So I love how big the reproduction of the card image is in this guidebook and that it's in full color. Love, love, love that. Um, so there's the image reproduction. Then it says ancestor healing for this card in particular, tree and amber. Very interesting. 
um, oracle, ancestor healing. So we hold and carry the lessons and wisdom of our family in our blood and bones, and it is held deeply within our DNA. Tribes from the beginning of time would pray for the seven generations, both past and present, to assist them in healing the bloodline. Just as we have our own karma to balance and our own lessons to learn, we also hold and carry those of our ancestors. Patterns and unresolved physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual issues that can be handed down through the family line. This medicine is a strong sign you are currently undergoing some powerful healing related to your ancestors. Pulling this card can represent that the current challenges in your life could be directly linked to your family and your family's karma. So then it continues on. Then it goes into the medicine, which in this particular card is the tree, the crystal, which is amber, um, and then a ceremony for you to partake in, to connect. So very, very cool. Um, it's definitely different than I thought it would be just from looking at the guidebook without even looking at the cards yet. I thought it was going to be like images of crystals like on the actual card. So I love that this exceeds my expectations and what I actually thought it was going to be. So very, very cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual cards. So again, 33 cards. They're circular, which is so new for me. Um, normally the cards come like with a little band, but I guess because these are circular, they're wrapped in plastic. So we're gonna have to dig these puppies out of the plastic. I don't wanna scratch up the actual cards. So let's see how well. I can get them out. <laughs> I really don't want to scratch these. Yeah, my only suggestion at this point with this deck would be to have like some kind of easier way to get these out because I'm kind of having a time because I really don't want to scratch them with scissors. So I'm trying to be really careful, but they're kind of hard to open. Okay, we're just going to go for it. Mm. there we go a little something something there we go a little something to get us started here we go yay <laughs> we got oh, plastic okay so hmm <clears throat> I think the backs are really gorgeous It's like a galaxy with crystals and almost this like horseshoe or Ouroboros almost kind of thing going on here. Um, they don't feel weird in my hand. I don't mind them. I actually kind of like it. It doesn't feel too different to me. Um, I think they fit well in my hand. Um, so if you're worried about how they'll feel in your hands, I think they feel fine. I think they feel pretty good. Um, cardstock is decent okay I don't know how much of a rifle shuffle you'll get with these because they're circular but we'll give it a try so cards so we've already seen the ancestor healing with tree and amber okay. angels and spirit guides so the medicine is upper world and the crystal is angelite Okay, which I think is a perfect crystal for that. Oh, beauty. The medicine is autumn and the crystal is utilite. And I am a fall baby. I love the autumn. It's my favorite season, my favorite time of year. Um, I love the way the weather feels and the beautiful color of the trees. So to me, it's more beautiful than spring. So I really appreciate that. Ooh, challenge. Medicine is lightning and the crystal is fulgurite. And I've always wanted a piece of fulgurite. <laughs> One day I'll get some. 
Okay, cleansing, feather and black tourmaline. And y'all know how much I love my black tourmaline. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty. Dance. Medicine is rattle and the crystal is boulder opal. Hmm. Divine feminine. The moon is the medicine and black moonstone is the crystal. And I love my rainbow moonstone, but I also love black moonstone. It's so, so very gorgeous. Oh, yay. Inner world. Going within and bogey stones. And bogey stones about bringing, you know, that groundedness, that balance, um, that harmony, the unification of the divine masculine and feminine within yourself. Very cool. Healer, shaman, shamanka, and new might. New might is very, very high vibrational. I love that stone as well. Hmm. I am presence, cosmos, and celestite. Okay. I don't want to shape everything. I like this one. Intention, staff, and pyrite. Okay. Manifesting intention with pyrite. Very cool. Moving forward, air and seraphonite. And seraphonite is a crystal of the angels and working with angels. So if you like that, so is celestite and angelite. But if you like working with angels, seraphonite is definitely um, a stone you may want to add to your arsenal. <clears throat> hmm. Reflection. Winter and rhodonite. And we're in the season of winter right now. So, um, you know, with the winter, it is a time of going within. It is a time of reflection, of reevaluating um, your life and yourself and where you are and where you want to go. And rhodonite is also about bringing love to yourself, especially during a time of reflection. To remember to be gentle and not so harsh on yourself for uh, past actions or lack thereof. Rejuvenation, plant, and green tourmaline. Retreat, mountain, and green calcite. I love green calcite. It's so juicy. It's like one of my favorite juicy stones. The color is just so beautiful. Sacred healing, medicine drum, and malachite. Malachite is great for the heart chakra, great for doing deep emotional healing work. Um, and working with it, you may even actually feel your heart chakra begin to open up. Um, you may, you know, your attention will definitely be drawn to your chest, especially if you're trying to do any heavy releasing or, again, reflection work. Um, so maybe pairing it up with a bit of a gentler stone like rose quartz or the rhodonite um, and doing this emotional healing work. It is also a stone um, if you are born under the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpios, get you some malachite. <laughs> oh yay, self-expression, water and Larimar. I love Larimar. I haven't worked with it in a little while, but I was on a Larimar kick for quite a while and it is such an amazing stone if you are into connecting with the energy of Atlantis, um, of water, water spirits, um, of the Caribbean energy, of um, just, it's so peaceful and so soothing, great for the throat chakra. I also find it um, to be very helpful when I work with my intuition. And if you have Rainbow Moonstone and compare it up with Larimar, that is an incredible duo. Self-mastery, spider, and topaz. Soul awakening, medicine pouch, and amethyst celestial. Okay. Mm. Soul retrieval, middle world, and galena. 
I do have a piece of Galena. I don't work with it too often, but this card is making me feel like I definitely should. It's, um, when I hold it, I feel like it's a very otherworldly kind of stone. It doesn't feel like it's of this earth. Um, yeah, that's the only way I can describe it is that it's just something otherworldly about it. Like not of this universe, not of this galaxy, not of this time. Um, it just feels very ancient. Okay, teacher, wolf, and shadokite. And I know shadokite um, is actually in her first deck, um, Rachel Sharman's first deck, the crystal reading cards, and I do have a piece of it. It is a really, really amazing stone to work with, especially if you plan on teaching any classes, um, doing any kind of speaking, using your voice more, connecting with spirit as to what they would like you to teach, that kind of thing. Um... And the last one I'm going to share with you is the Truth and Integrity card. So we have Summer and Turquoise. So Turquoise, great stone for travel, great stone for the throat chakra and connecting with your personal truth. So very cool, very beautiful cards. Let's see how these guys shuffle. Um, they shuffle very nicely. Let's see how they do with a little bridge shuffle. Let's see if we can do that. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, <laughs> they just don't have that bend that you need with like um, rectangular cards. Maybe if I work them in a little bit, um, that'll flow a little bit better, but I think this is probably the best way for me to shuffle them for now. Okay, so I am just going to ask for a message from the Crystal Medicine Oracle Shamanism cards uh, for whoever's watching this video, whenever they're watching this video. What is thank you? <laughs> okay, perfect. So like I said, we are in winter right now as I'm recording this video, but we have Rebirth and the Medicine of Spring and Shiva Lingam. Okay, so coming into our own, renewing ourselves, renewing our spirit. You know, we've done this reflecting for a while, this reevaluating. Um, we're having a Mercury retrograde, right? As you know, we're coming into spring. So during this time, rethinking, reevaluating, reanalyzing, rebirth energy so that we can come into something stronger better and renewed okay what would you like um, to spring forth what would you like to blossom and bloom what would you like to cultivate how can you nurture these endeavors these things these ideas so that when spring comes they will bloom in their full beauty in their full color so I think the energy right now if you're going through a hard time if you're trying to change yourself if you're trying to change your life Focus on that rebirth energy, okay? Not so much of the things that have died or the things that have fallen away. That is an important part of rebirth, but it's like you've you've done that. You don't have to stay, you know, constantly, okay, you gotta get rid of this and this and this and this. That's healthy, that's good, but you also have to bring new things in to fill that empty space once it has been cleaned out. So focusing on the energy of rebirth, of spring, of awakening. Also working with the stone, Shiva Lingam, may be very, very helpful for you at this time. But I'm Arielle, and this has been Maven Unmasked with your unboxing and first impressions of the Crystal Medicine Oracle Cards by Rachel Sharman and Rockpool Publishing. You can get yourself a copy on Rockpool Publishing's website. And if you would like to book a reading with me, please be sure to check out my own, www.mavenunmasked.com. But have a great one, lovelies, and happy shuffling. Bye.